on game days at Loyola. Jeez, geez. Good luck tonight. Oh, thank you. There's nobody more famous. Hi there. Oh. Than Sister Jean. Oh no, I was very shy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seem very shy still. But, but I have my own bobblehead. Really? Yeah. For more than two decades, Sister Jean's been coming and sitting in her favorite seat. She says over that time she's maybe missed a couple of games. One missed game a decade, that's not a bad ratio. And over that time, she's become the most beloved figure on this entire campus. Everyone knows who Sister Jean, Jean is. When she walks, eyes turn. When Sister Jean's coming, everybody stops. Everybody knows. Sister Jean Schmidt came to her first Loyola basketball game as a fan in 1962. But she's been chaplain of the team since the early 90s. Oh, my gosh. It's good to be with you. Oh, it's nice good to, to see, see you. you oh. Before every game, there are hugs from friends, fans, and even officials. How are you? I'm good. How are good you to tonight? You. Good to Wonderful. see you. How, how are the eyes tonight? Lovely. Yours. Lovely. If, if they're not working, I'm going to borrow your glasses. Okay? okay. But when the Ramblers take the court, it's all business. Keep your eyes on number 1, 11, 12, 23, and 44. But every one of them needs every single bit of attention that we can give them. How much time do you spend pouring over all this stuff? Oh, I spend a lot of time, my own time, not, not company time, <laughs> my, my own time. And in fact, today I, I ran off the RPIs to see, to see how these experts differ from each other. When I got the job, I was in my office before, and on, the, on my desk was a scouting report of every current player that I inherited. Full-blown scouting report, detailed what they're good at, what they're bad at, what they need to work on, and at the end it said Sister Jean, and I, I was blown away. And after every game, she sends each member of the team a personal email. Devin, your touch is back again. You more than made up for your ha hamstring absence. I loved all those shots that added to our points, and how about a continuation on Wednesday? Sometimes they respond, right. but I don't expect them to because they're, I say it all in the email. You can like kind of like see how much it affects her and like how, how important it is to her, so it affects us as well. She means that much to everybody on this campus. She's one in a billion. But this basketball-loving sister's only hope is that she's made a difference in the lives of Loyola players on and off the court. I just feel my presence has meant something to them. Yeah. And uh, I hope that I've influenced them in some way to be good for them. I'm Evan Fitzgerald, Fox 32 Sports.